Alabama State continues to be the giant killer. We take care of the Wahoos in our first home game of the season, and now we're 3-0. So now we go up to Baltimore, Maryland. It's another swag meat matchup, just like it's going to be this Saturday in real life. Texas Southern come all the way from Texas to take on the Morgan State Bears in Baltimore. Let's get into the action. So check out this pass right here, right across his body. He makes that catch, goes past the 40, the 30, the 20, and tackled around the Texas Southern 11-yard line. Oh, take that back, that was the 12. Either way, that was a very risky pass, but a great play. Eventually, the drive comes to a halt. That kick is good, and the Morgan State Bears are up 3 nothing. So we go later on in the first quarter. Look at this handoff to Shannon Boxy going up the left side. Down the left sideline, he goes into Morgan State territory, and he's taking that thing all the way to the crib for a Texas Southern touchdown as the Tigers strike 80 yards out. What a run that was. So look at this run right here. They have an impact player as well. Look at him going into Texas Southern territory, tackling inside the red zone, but eventually this drive would also stall, and Morgan State will have to set up for another field goal that decreases the lead, the one for the Texas Southern Titans. It's 76, we're going into the middle of the second quarter. Look at this pass right here. Looking deep for his target, and that pass is caught inside the 30. What a catch that was. That was a beautiful pass too, by the way. Now they're at the Morgan State 26. But this drive will stall. He gets that kick, the lead goes back up to four. It's 10 to six. 56 seconds left in the first half. Look at this run by here by Shannon Bostic. Shannon Bostic had a day in this game too, man. Tackled near midfield. 49 seconds left and they're still moving. So look at this pass right here. Popping it to the left side. It's caught. He goes inside the 10. He's tackling inside the five. What a pass that was. Now Texas Southern is one of the worst teams in the country as far as red zone offense. But they try to get one right here, and they got it. Another Texas Southern touchdown right before the half. And now the lead is 17 to 9. So here we go, second half, that back on offense. And there goes Shannon Bostic once again, showing you what he can do. Tackle near midfield. He's averaging over 23 a carry. My goodness. 35 now. There goes the pass. It's caught by Shannon Bostic once again. We've been calling his name all throughout this video so far. He's having a career day. First and 10 at the Morgan State 33. All to the pass, he pops into the left side. That pass was caught. How that wasn't intercepted, I have no idea. They would eventually settle for another field goal. The kick is up and the kick is good. So now Texas Southern in the drive seat to win their first game of the season. Late third quarter, let's go into the fourth real quick. Here goes a play fake. He passes it to the right, it's tipped and intercepted. Just a bad day for the Morgan State Bears as Williams picks up that pass. Four tackles in the INT on him for the day as Texas Southern cruises up there in Baltimore 26 to nine. They got two more field goals, so that explains that. The Tigers get their first win of the season. So there goes Bethune Cutman getting their first win of the season versus Wyoming. Oh wow, that's a shocker. Not really, but I'm just saying. Kansas beat Jackson State. Jackson State are now 0-2 on the season. The Texas Southern Tigers and Morgan State, we saw that. Me at Sweat Challenge right there. So let's go to the next one up in Morgantown, Alabama A&M. It's now 0-3 after losing to the Mountaineers, 37-21. Arizona is 3-0. Oh, wow, they beat Arkansas Pine Bluff pretty bad. Alabama beats Alcorn State. Alabama's ranked 18. Look at Florida A&M though, beating up on Louisville. Beat them 27 to 17. Minnesota squeaks by Prairie View A&M 14 to 13. And then finally our last game in the sweat, Grambling State beating Utah State, who is now in the Mountain West Conference in real life. So let's go over to the MEAC. North Carolina State beats North Carolina a and Delaware State comes up short the Arizona State. We saw that game. Tennessee State loses to Texas 34-3. Indiana beat Howard 41-31. And then look at that. South Carolina State beat Rutgers 27-21 in overtime. Norfolk State just couldn't hang with North Carolina. So we have some shocking news in the top 25. LSU took an L. They lost to Michigan. And now Michigan is the number one ranked team in the country. You see, we're ranked number five. As you see, LSU fell to the 8th spot. 
Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody's excited about the game this weekend between Jackson State and North Carolina Central. I have no idea how this game is going to be played out. A lot of people don't know about Central, but that's a pretty good damn team, man. Richards, the quarterback, is nice. They can run the football, and they got a defense that's stingy. I hope it's a pretty competitive game. I hope Jackson State learned their lesson from last season, but we'll see come Saturday. So as you see the Heisman watch list, Ryan Thompson is up top, and it looks like he might be holding his spot for the rest of the year. But as you go all the way down to the bottom, they hating on my boy Trey Tyler, man. It does not make any sense. The man has 10 touchdowns from 10 games, already over 1,000 yards. But, but touchdowns carry a lot over in this game. If he had some running touchdowns, I'm pretty sure he'd be up top. Oliver Madison wins Offensive of Player of the Week for the SWAC, over 200 yards rushing at 18. And then Gage Smith wins Player of the Week for defense for Arkansas Pine Bluff. So join us next time. We back at the crib once again. This time we're taking on the Prairie View and m Panthers and a SWAC matchup, and I believe this is our first SWAC matchup of the season. Join us, will you? We hope to see you there. Peace out.